Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Much appreciated you guys taking a little time to watch the video. Uh, man, really uh, thankful. I, got, I was looking at my analytics on the channel today and we've had uh, 1 million views on, on the Intuitive Angling channel over the last 28 days. So appreciate everybody taking some time to watch the videos. It's, it's uh, definitely very grateful for that. Today I'm going to give you guys another secret I've been keeping. I've, I've got secrets that I... I keep thinking to myself, man, I can't give away everything, but um, the more that I do these YouTube videos, the more I realize that I can give you guys what most people consider secrets, but you still have to know when and where to fish them at. So there's a lot more to it than just the obvious secret. But today I'm going to give you guys a secret color that will you probably have never used before that will definitely produce more jig fish for you. And I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and, and everything with it. So... Anyway, we'll start out here. I'm going to show you the uh, Blockit Old School Jig Color that I don't think this color is available anywhere else. I mean, I, a lot of people, I, when I first said that the, I'm not sure where the hand-tied rubber skirts are available, a lot of people said, well, such and such can get them. And yeah, there may be some obsolete, you know, small people doing them here and there, but I'm not familiar with another company that has this particular color. And this is my, probably my favorite color jig. It's available in the block at Old School Jig. Um, if you guys are interested in, in this particular color, you can order them through Baitworks online. I'll include the link in the description. Right now, that's the only place you can order them. And here it is, guys. This is the block at Old School Jig, black with blue tinsel. Most people don't use tinsel. They're, it's number one, it's super hard to tie. It's hard to get along with the live rubber. And I'm gonna show you what I coupled this up with. But take a look at this tinsel, guys. See how it flashes in the sunlight there? Most people that, um, in fact, I've already been fishing this. You can see the head's messed up on a little bit. But most people that think about a black and blue jig, which is probably one of the most common colors, they throw the black and blue silicone. And it does not look the same. And uh, I thought I had one out here. Let me see if I can find one real quick. If I got one right here, I'll show you the difference here between the black and blue silicone. <clears throat> Here's a, uh, a hack attack jig here. This is the Strike King hack attack jig, which is a good one ounce jig. And um, here's the difference between the block at old school next to the hack attack jig. And you can see the difference there right off the bat. Notice how this one has just got a completely different look. And guys, when you get this in the water, there's no comparison to the tinsel than anything else. This is a big secret of like a lot of the top old school flippers like myself, Denny Brower, Tommy Biffle, all these guys like, like that have been flipping jigs forever. There's something about tinsel that will get you more bites than a traditional silicone skirt. And I'm gonna show you the trailer that I, that I rig it up with, which is really the key. Now, most people, when you're talking about a black and blue jig, they're talking about using a black and blue trailer, blue trailer, black trailer, something like this. Guys, the secret color combination I'm gonna give you guys with the black and blue tinsel is the green pumpkin. Now this is the green pumpkin super chunk. I use a variety of, of uh, plastic trailers. And you know, we talked before, you know, I do use pork a lot, but I also use plastic a lot. You have to know when to use which. But guys, this right here, I'm telling you right now, this green pumpkin trailer on a black and blue tinsel jig like this is money, man. I have caught so many hogs on this bait. And the thing that is cool about this is most of the time I'll use the black and blue jig in fairly dirty water. But when you couple up the black and blue tinsel with a green pumpkin, it becomes a little bit more subtle than if you were using, you know, like the, you know, a blue trailer with it or something like that. And that makes this trailer really a lot more productive in a diverse and a wide range of water clarities. This particular trailer right here, when you're using black and blue with green pumpkin, it works in anywhere between, you know, six inches of visibility and four foot. If it's dirty, a lot of times I'll put a little bit of orange or chartreuse on the trailer. Ideally, my favorite color of water for this is about anywhere between 15 inches to two foot of visibility for pitching and flipping around docks, laydowns, bushes, rock banks, shallow grass, anything like that. But it gives it a look that people just don't see. I mean, people do not see this. And if you guys look at crawdads, like a lot of the crawdads we have here in Missouri, they are black and green, you know, and you don't see that combination. So this is a combination of the black and green 
that a lot of crawdads have, along with the tinsel that adds a little bit of flash. Now, I think that one of the big keys about the uh, tinsel on the jig is that it creates a flash that it gets her attention immediately uh, that, you know, the paler, you know, silicone just doesn't have. You can notice the difference there. And I think that flash is the reason they bite this. A lot of the guys that are expert swim jig fishermen, particularly up north, they know all about the tinsel. The tinsel's a big deal. And you guys may use it too, some of the guys out there, but 95% of the people out there do not use a tinsel jig because you can't get them anymore. Um, one of the reasons about it, and that's one of the reasons that the uh, block at old school jig is such is so high dollar, is this tinsel is extremely hard to tie on here. This is, like I said, this is live rubber. You know, you got to lay it in there just right. You got to separate all the fibers once you get it in there. You got to just really, really, once you do tie it, and it's hard to tie to get it to look right, but you really got to tweak it and make it look good. So it takes a long time to tie one of these things. But guys, again, if you're interested, bait works links in the description. You can order them there. You need to get you some of these. I did not want to share this tip, but I can promise you guys right now, you will kick everybody's butt. You will kick your buddy's butt. If he's out there flipping a black and blue silicone and you've got the black and the black and blue uh, block of old school jig tinsel next to it, you will whack their butt next to him side by side, I can promise you. Especially when you're fishing around some type of heavy cover. I mean, that's when it really excels there. So that's the tip today, guys. Block of old school jig teamed up with a green pumpkin zoom super chunk or whatever, you know, trailer that you like to use on there. But that green and black combination with the blue tinsel is, um, it's one of those things where you can't really explain why it's so effective. I mean, bass react to certain colors for reasons we don't really even know. We don't really know what colors look like to a bass in the water. We, we tend to view what we think bass, what we, th we tend to view what we think looks, looks good through our, our, our vision but a bass may see something very different. So this is something that has just come about from time and time on the water, experimenting with different variations until I came up with this. So give it a try guys. Like I said, if it's one of the greatest ways you can to support the channel here is ordering some of these jigs through, bait, through Baitworks. Link in the description once again. Thanks for tuning in and we'll be back soon. See ya.